Hello Internet, my name's Catherine, and I just had my 20th birthday. <laughs> I'm no longer a teenager, which is very weird, and I'm gonna be doing a video on 20 things that I've learned in 20 years. I've done this for my past two birthdays, um, which is weird to think that I have recorded that much of my life so far, but I have. So, um, yeah. Let's just get into it. Sorry, I look kind of frumpy. I just want to be really comfy and it's all rainy outside, so yeah. <laughs> Number one, everything happens for a reason. Trust the process. Number two, your alone time is really important. Number three, when you find the right person for you, love doesn't seem hard anymore. Um, there's a way of clicking with somebody that just flows really naturally when you've found that person. Four. Reading is so great and um, I love reading just about a whole bunch of different things and it's something I want to focus on doing even more. Five, experimenting with makeup is really fun. I have started wearing a lot more colorful makeup and just trying new things with my makeup and it's a really great way to express yourself and um, it's just a really fun thing to do so don't worry if it might be too much for the occasion or whatever, just go for it if you want to. Six, not every step of your life makes sense when you take it. There have been a whole lot of times when I've done things or just life has happened to me and I won't understand a lot of it and that's okay. Um, and it just flows and eventually you will understand things. Seven. I love cooking and baking. I have known this for my whole life, but being able to have a kitchen literally right outside that door that I can cook in and bake in as much as I want is so incredible. And after not having a kitchen where I live for a year, I just appreciate it so much. Number eight, save your money when you can because things are expensive. Just from taking different classes and trying to find a place for me to live next year and all these different things, rent, especially in Boston, is expensive. Food is expensive. Life is expensive. And it's like things you just have to pay for are so expensive. So when you can, try to save your money. I'm working on this. <laughs> Number nine, you get as much out of something as you put into it. So if you are going to your lecture hall and you're on cool math games the entire time, which like I've been there, I've done that, you're not gonna get anything out of it. But if you are paying attention and focusing and raising your hand and like answering questions and participating, you're gonna get so much more out of that and really absorb the material so much more. And that applies to everything in life. If you are working in a job and you're putting in the bare minimum, that's all you're gonna get out of it. But if you're working hard and working on learning and developing new skills, you will have those for the rest of your life, so. Yeah. 10. I don't have everything figured out yet and that's okay. I think there's this big pressure, obviously when you go off to college, to kind of know what you want to do, even though I was just like 18 years old when I went off to college. And I think there's this idea that, you know, at this point I'm in my second year of um, college, I'm about to finish my schooling for this second year and that's generally the time people are fully supposed to kind of know what they want to do and I do I have this idea of what I want to do but I have no idea whether or not it's gonna work out whether or not you know I'm gonna have the means to fulfill this life that I have envisioned for myself and all these different things and I don't know exactly how life is gonna go and I feel like there's this misconception that you should um, so I just want to remind people that that's okay to just not know how things are going right now. Number 11, um, my weight has changed and I carry it differently than I did when I was 17 years old. Um, I feel like when you reach college, your weight changes a lot. A lot of people talk about like the freshman 15 or different things like that, but you're also just getting older. Your body is carrying weight differently. You know, your metabolism is slowing down a little bit and and I look different than I do when I was 17 or even 18, 19, like my body is changing and I look different. And I think I'm always comparing my weight to when I was my lightest, which was around like my sophomore year of high school, junior year of high school, which is three to four years ago. And I'm still comparing myself to that weight as being like my goal weight that I need to eventually get back down to. But the truth is no one's expecting you to weigh that 
same amount three or four years later you know when you're eight versus when you're 11 or 12 you're not supposed to weigh the same amount and that continues as you're growing old so um i've developed this is the new normal for my body this weight that i'm at right now and i don't have to get back down to anything this is just where i'm at if i want to tone up or do different things like that i'm more than welcome to but my goal shouldn't be to lose weight when i'm at a healthy weight and healthy bmi number 12 i have suffered from depression and anxiety for over 10 years now and i have been on medication for about eight or nine of those years and I am finally in that place where I feel like I can start weaning off of my medication in a healthy way and um, I'm just really excited about that. Okay. Okay, slight switch of maybe closeness or angle. I just went out to go ask my roommates to be a little bit more quiet. <laughs> Cause like they don't know I'm filming, you know, so they're just like talking and the walls here are just so freaking thin. Number 13, goldfish are one of my favorite snacks. Like the little goldfish crackers. I buy way too many of them and that's one thing that I should revert back to, you know, one of my older tips to save money, but I'm just freaking, I love goldfish. Anyway, number 14, Snapchat memories are incredible and also so cruel at the same time because it allows me to look back at like times when my friends and I were in high school and we were all together, which like we aren't, you know, we're all like kind of spread out in the country now going to different schools and it allows me to be like, oh my gosh, do you remember when we did this? Do you remember when we did that or whatever? But then I also see videos, I'm like, mm. I was a lot skinnier back then <laughs> or, or me being like mmm that person's not in my life anymore and it's just like they're fun <laughs> number 15 having my nails painted which I don't right now I'm about to go home for Thanksgiving and I'm hoping my mom will take me to get my nails done we can have some mother-daughter bonding time and also I can get my nails done it makes me feel so powerful so badass there's something about it that just like you have it together from like your head to your toes your nails are done you know there's something about it it's so good wish i could have my nails done all the time wish i had the money for that <laughs> 16. it is totally okay to spend some days doing absolutely nothing there are some days when i like this past week i didn't have class in the morning which like i don't my class starts at 11 45 but that's like my morning class <laughs> my sleep schedule is so messed up um but i woke up at like 10 o'clock or like 9 30 went and got breakfast came back ate my breakfast watched an episode of victorious and fell asleep and took another nap for two hours after being awake for an hour and um that's what i did so thriving <laughs> 17 bees are good grades um and your gpa is not the most important thing in your life um i have been freaking out because i'm gonna have a couple bees this semester and i was like i really need a's as if i didn't have bees last semester also your gpa is not the most important thing people look at you as a well-rounded package and you don't need a 4.0 to succeed <laughs> number 18 dyeing your eyebrows is a lot better than filling them in costs about seven dollars to buy um i use the just for men like beard dye and um, it comes with these tubes that will probably last you like a year because you only need the smallest bit. I take a little like angled brush and just like fill them in. I just dyed my eyebrows the other day. Um, you leave it on for like two minutes and you wash it off. Beautiful, incredible, saves you time. You don't have to fill in your brows. It looks so natural and it allows you to have that darker, more fuller look. So that's just incredible. So I recommend it's super easy to do on your own, 19 not everyone is gonna like you or like every part of you or everything you decide to do and some people are really fake and will act like they love you and like they're your best friend and then will turn around and just like not know you at all and um just be aware of that that you don't need people who don't really like you <laughs> and lastly number 20 it is so important to make decisions that bring you the most joy so focus on your life for you i've talked about this a few times you shouldn't be living for anybody else you only have this one life to live and you should be focusing on things that make you happy and bring you joy all right, guys, well, that was my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. I try to make videos every single Saturday, and I would love to have you. Hope you guys have a great day, and I love you so much. Bye.